Friday or whatever day you are watching this. It's Friday for me right now. And welcome to the vlog. So today is gonna be kind of a mini day in life type of video. I'll just take you with this on our day. And it's actually midday today. The kids finished up some classroom meets today on the computer. They had Google Meets with their classmates. All their schoolwork's done for the week. So after this week, we have two more weeks of school left and then it's summertime for us and it's kind of uncharted territory because the summer is going to be very different and we don't really know like all really the ways that it will be different yet but it's going to be different so um i know that they're getting excited about finishing up school but obviously it's kind of a different end of the school year and there's still some things we have to tackle like all of their stuff is still in their desk and their lockers at school and we have school devices that I'm guessing we'll have to turn in at some point. So there's a lot of stuff that I'll have to get figured out there that the school, when they're able to and when it's safe to, we can go get their stuff out of their rooms so they can be ready for next year, hopefully, and um, you know, turn in devices and stuff like that. So anyhow, that is down the line, but we are getting closer to the end of school, so it's becoming a reality. Also today in Alabama, they lifted our restrictions quite a bit, or our governor lifted our restrictions quite a bit. I got the news article here so I don't get it all wrong, but um, it starts on Monday, May 11th, so probably around the time that you're maybe watching this video and it goes until May 22nd and then what she's doing is kind of doing a couple weeks at a time and they're revising it a couple weeks at a time and revising it so this is kind of like our next revision or whatever but it's a pretty interesting one because restaurants will be able to open to allow a certain capacity on the inside so right now it's been pickup only so this will change that for restaurants and then also it will allow gyms to reopen which I think is huge because that's obviously people like sharing touching equipment and all that. Um, salons can reopen so like nail salons I actually just redid my nails today too. I put on Namaste is the really pretty turquoise color and then this one's Celine the gray color. Um, so salons will be back open. You can get your hair cut, you can get your hair dyed, you can do your nails. Um, and the really big one is churches can meet because the 10 person limit was lifted. And she did not put another limit on there for churches. So that could get very interesting if they're packing like a thousand people, which I don't know that there's that many big churches down here, but um, there are certainly a lot of them. Uh, so, you know, if there's 200, 500 people in a congregation, it sounds like they can meet at this point after this order lifts on Monday or changes on Monday. So anyhow, that's the news down here. So it should be interesting to see how that turns out. Um, you know, for us, until school is over in two weeks, not a lot will change. I'm not planning on going to the salon. I'm going to continue doing my nails at home. I will go get a pedicure eventually, but I'm not gonna run right out the first week that this is open and go run and get a pedicure because it's not really necessary. And you know, maybe like at the end of May, I might go get one or something or June. Um, the only thing I probably will do is that I heard that Home Goods might hopefully be opening sometime next week, or at least our TJ Maxx is. If Home Goods opens sometimes next week, I'll probably go with a mask on and go look for just some like kind of decor spruce or uppers because it's like a happy item for me. You know, it's the things that bring you joy and things like that can make a difference when you're around the house. For some people, it might be gardening. For me, it is changing out the decor. So um, that might be the only thing that I do. But for us, obviously, with school out, not a lot changes. And if your childcare is affected, like our summer camp was canceled, not a lot changes, unfortunately. So it should be interesting to see how that goes. Anyhow, that's the latest news from down here. So I figured I'd share that right off the top because we will be one of the first states that has restrictions like that lifted. Obviously, Georgia, I think, was ahead of us as well. Like they could open salons and stuff like that. And unfortunately, the nature of this thing is, is we're really not going to know whether it was a great idea or a bad idea until like two or three weeks from now. So I'm planning on kind of just holding pattern for a couple of weeks and I, you know, I'm not going to go to salons or any like close contact stuff personally, but it's an option if you live here and want to. 
Um, so yeah, that's what's going on. And other than that, I have some boxes down here. These are some kind of just things I probably would have got anyways, but some kind of early birthday gifts to myself. And also Mother's Day is this weekend, so happy Mother's Day. It actually may have already passed by the time that you guys watch this video, but we're planning on having a low-key Mother's Day, just ordering some Chinese food. His mom lives close, so we'll probably have her over to have the Chinese food and just have a casual, hanging out type of Mother's Day. Not a lot of, you know, anything extra. We're not gonna go do anything because there's still not a lot of stuff open. So that's what our plans are for this weekend. But let me show you what came in these boxes over here and we'll open them up together. So I look like I have a little like shipping center going on over here. But anyhow, so this is a few fun things that I found on Amazon. This is a little kind of like early birthday present, just fun thing that I found on Shop Disney that I'm super excited about. And then this one is a party box that Party City sent to us. So thank you to Party City. I'll just give you a sneak peek, but then we're gonna do a whole video on that when we get closer to Isabella's birthday, because all that is for Isabella's birthday. But what I found on Amazon are just some more fun things to have around the house, but I'm super excited about this. I was wanting a fun straw bag just to use this summer, take to the pool if our pool opens back up here in our neighborhood and that sort of thing. And this one was super cute. So, let's see here. It is really big. I like that it had like kind of a round shape to it. And once you put some towels and things in there, it should kind of like hold its shape a little bit better. But I like that it kind of had this round shape. I thought that was really unique. And it was really inexpensive. It was only 20 something dollars. And it came with this really cute little multicolored puff ball that you can put on there that I use this as like a beach bag or a quick grab and go bag or if we did like a beach summer trip we're talking about that being kind of our casual summer vacation since this year is a little bit you know we're not going to travel as far or anything like that so this would be a really great vacation bag just watch, walking on the beach um, and that sort of thing. How cute is this tassel? So I'll have this on my Amazon list down below and kind of share some pictures on Instagram too of how I style it. But let me, I'll stand up so you can see what it looks like. So this is what it looks like on and you can kind of see that it's a really good size. I could probably fit two towels and sunscreen and all kinds of fun things down in here. And I would also use this for some fun casual events. If I wanted a larger, kind of tote to take with me. I thought that this would be kind of just a fun summer tote to take with me and the handle's long enough to fit up on your arm. These are removable, but I bought the one that had the tassel on it because I thought it just added an extra little fun to it. And then as I was browsing for some fun, just kind of beachy summer sandals, these sandals popped up. And I thought this has squished me. And I thought that these looked like they would be comfortable and I loved that they were a little bit blingy and a little bit summery in the white with the clear rhinestones. So I'm gonna try these on. These are by Skechers. And these also I found on Amazon. They were really inexpensive. So most stores online wanted um, close to $40 for these and they were $20 on Amazon. And in case you didn't know, Amazon owns Zappos now, which I love getting shoes on Zappos, and 6 p.m. So you can actually find a lot of good shoes deals now on Amazon. So there is the tote and obviously don't judge my feet because I was literally just saying I need a pedicure. But here are the sparkle sandals. I absolutely love these. I think those are really super cute. And actually, those would go cute together. So I just took some pictures for Instagram and you can see that these are a really cute beachy pair and I would definitely use these together. I love the rhinestones on this. And these were only 20 bucks. It was a really good find. So they're on the list down below, the Be Mommy With Style shopping list down below. There's an affiliate list. Um, you do get like minuscule earnings if you click the links, but if you want to find anything, I'm trying to be better about when I find things, link it if it's on Amazon and put it on the list so you can find it and putting shopping lists down below if I share favorites and that sort of thing so you can find the link to go find it online, especially because I'm doing so much online shopping right now. It's not like I'm buying a lot in the stores. This box I'm very excited about and there is a backstory with this one. Is there not always a backstory? So this 
lounge fly backpack. I first saw when we were on the cruise ship, when we were on the Disney Dream, and I was really, really debating getting this when we were on the Dream. Look how they package this. They hold the ears. There's a little ear holder on that. How cute is that? So I saw this when we were on the Dream, and I thought it was so, so cute, but our trip was getting ready to end. And at that time, I was thinking, well, we'll probably take a cruise later on in the year. We are not now, spoiler alert. Um, but I thought, well, I'm planning on thinking about doing a cruise in like October, so I will just wait and I will look in October. So I did not end up getting it when we were on the Dream in February. And I really slightly regretted it, even pretty much immediately after getting off the ship. This blueprint is so pretty. There's like a little swirl to the sequence. It's really not as apparent in pictures or on video. But you can really see it in real life and the navy and the rose gold just pop together. I absolutely love that combination. So I was thinking well if we go on another cruise later this year I'll get it then. Then of course all of this craziness happened and it was not top of mind but I happened to one day in March, I believe it was, randomly look on Shop Disney and they had it. I was like, I'm not going to get it. I'm going to wait. And it sold out within probably, within 24 hours of being on Shop Disney, it was gone. So then I was really sad and I was like, man, <laughs> um, you know, I missed my chance of getting it because typically items like this are cruise line only. They're very hard to get. If it's not something that's normally on Shop Disney, like this is popped up on there, you would normally have to go on the ships to get it. So Disney Cruise Line merchandise is some of the hardest to get if it's not something that's regularly on Shop Disney. And so at that point, they were starting to dock the ships, and I think what they're doing is putting some of the ship's inventory on Shop Disney because there was a few things that I saw in there that were very unusual that are not normal cruise line items to see on the website, this being one of them. So it sold out, and I would check back occasionally and it was not on there and I thought bummer I missed my chance so stuff sorted out with work I found out I wasn't completely laid off I was furloughed and that worked out and obviously I've got my other stuff going on you know that can sustain me in the meantime and I got some birthday money and I kept checking back to Disney the, the shop Disney website and it still wasn't on there and I thought well I just missed my chance about I got a birthday check in the mail and literally the same day happened to shop on Shop Disney, look, look on their website, I think it was around the same time, it was before the mask came out. I happened to look the same day that one of these birthday checks came in with, a, you know, just a little bit of birthday money and it was on there and I clicked add to cart and I was like, this is going to be one of my birthday gifts to myself because I do not want to miss this opportunity again. So it's back down again. It is not on there. There is a little wallet that is this navy print with the mini ears and the rose gold, but I just thought it was really beautiful. I would use this at the parks as well. These backpacks work great as a parks bag, and even though it's nautical, um, it's neutral enough to me that I would just use it because it's beautiful. So I I feel I feel pretty good about my my lounge fly collection now. I have a couple different options, and I'm excited that I got this one. It's a really beautiful print. And of course, would work great for a cruise once we are able to go on Disney Cruises. So the moral again. of the story is, it's just like home goods rules. If you see something and you really, really, really love it, you probably should consider getting it because it may not be there when you get back. So it was a happy ending. I figured it was meant to be because I happened to look on there and it was on there again. And I was like, you know what? This will pretty much complete my lounge fly collection because I don't want like a huge amount of them. I have three of them, which I'll just go ahead and show you real quick in this vlog which ones I have. But I thought this would be the perfect addition to my collection and it's really pretty. I would love to display it occasionally just for something, you know, pretty. And then I would use this in the parks. I would use this on cruises as like kind of a, you know, document bag and that sort of thing. So I know we'll be on Disney Cruise Line again in the future. It's just a matter of circumstances working out that we can be on Disney Cruise Line again. So I'm glad it worked out that I could get this and I got it when it was in stock. So it was very exciting. Um, so this was a pretty rare one and they do have the wallet and they had the hip bag on there for the longest time, but 
that is now out of stock on there. So if it ever comes up again, I'll post it real quick on like my Facebook and Twitter and let you guys know. But it seems like they were getting inventory from the ships. Like as soon as news would come out that they were docking the ships about like a week later, they would get some inventory and it kind of pop up. So I think what's happening, like as they figure out how long their cancellations are going to be, they put some of that inventory. This is a, this is a theory of mine, by the way, this is not documented at all. But I th my theory that I have is that, you know, as they found out the ships were not going to be sailing, then merchandise that they would have had available during that time period, they made available on Shop Disney. Just a theory that I have, um, but I have noticed there's other things on there, like some extra ornaments. I'm trying to think what else. Some lanyards that I noticed that were usually not available on there. Some clothing items, some Tervis cups. And they, they typically always have at least one of all those things on there, but I saw a wider selection, like basically the selection that I saw on the ship in February, and I thought, ah, oh, they're putting some of their stock on there so people can get it, which I'm happy about because there's some things that I was kind of on the fence about, like this, and I'm, I was actually thinking about getting another Tervis um, cup, and I might actually get another one. Cruises are really, really special to me. So Walt Disney World will always be home, you know, that's like my home park and that's where I feel comfortable and I know my way around without a map and it's just, you know, that's kind of like my home theme park. But Disney Cruise Line is really, really special and I have a connection with it in the sense of when I get on those cruises, it's just so relaxing. I know everything's going to get taken care of. There's just something unexplainable about being able to sit out on that balcony, hear the ocean against the, the side of the ship and just know that you're going to get great service. I know it's always going to be super clean and we just have a really great time. So anyhow, enough about that. It's kind of a side random note. But let me grab my other lounge fly bags and I'll show you the other ones that I have in my collection. So here are the three lounge flies that I have and I believe these two are both still available on Shop Disney and were in the parks when we were there in February. And like I said, this one's currently on the ships once the ships are back open. But I think that this will probably be good for now. Um, this is just like a little mini collection. So I collect Disney items just in small collections. I don't have like any huge Disney walls in my house or anything like that for like people that are like maker collectors. But I do like this one. I love that it has the different icons all over it. This is the Disney Parks Icon backpack. And so it's got the white trim, it's pink and purple. And I thought it would go with a lot of my different Disney outfits. So I would use any of these on a different, on a future upcoming parks trip. So I would use these as well as, you know, have them in a collection. This is the one that I used on my most recent trips. I think I've used this on two or three trips recently. It's just the polka dot sequins. It's one of the kind of original ones that came out with the mini bow. And then I added this little Mickey poof charm onto it as well just for a little bit of added fun. And then of course, this is the one that I just got for Disney Cruise Lines. So those are the lounge fly backpacks that I have. And I'll do a video coming up sometime soon, but they really do fit a really good amount of stuff in them. So I'll show what fits in a mini backpack from lounge fly to use as a park bag, because hopefully, the theme parks will be opening up sometime this summer, we'll see. Disney Springs is also opening up May 20th but it's for third party vendors only. And it's gonna be you know, reduced capacity and everyone's wearing masks and all that kind of thing. So we'll see how that goes as well. I think that if I had a June trip planned, I wouldn't be very hopeful that it would happen just personally. But if I had a trip in August, I would have fingers crossed that maybe stuff would be up and going and they'll be running a certain capacity by then. That's just my own personal, like if I had a trip planned then. We don't personally have a trip planned right now but it's all a guessing game for everyone, right? And then this last box, I'll just give you a sneak peek, and like I said, we're gonna do a whole video on this. Thank you to Party City for sending us all of these goodies for Isabella's 10th birthday, and she is having a Super Mario and Nintendo themed birthday party. And we are gonna do a virtual party with her friends, so if we were not able to meet up with them, what we could do is we could drop off these sacks outside their house and do like a Google meet and maybe have like a little birthday parade and that sort of thing um, I'm not really sure we're not sure yet for her birthday whether or not we'll be able to meet um, 
So we, that's still in flux. And even though restrictions have been lifted, I know that people may not be exactly comfortable with, you know, going, definitely not going anywhere, but even like coming over to someone's house. So we have some items and we'll be making up little gift packs and then either doing a parade where people can drive past outside and then give the guests a little fun gift bag that has some of this fun Super Mario stuff in it. Or, um... Like I said, they can do like a little meat as well. How fun is this stuff though? So we'll share all that when we have everything all together and do a birthday vlog. You can go ahead and use the code right now. Party City has um, given us the code to share. It's virtual99. They have these ultimate virtual party packs and there's a number of different themes. We chose Super Mario because she's planning on having a Nintendo themed birthday and that's her big wish list item. But they also have like Disney Princess, they have Trolls, they have Paw Patrol. There's a lot of different themes and they also have just a cute birthday one and there's some different themes that are more general as well. So if you guys check it out, look for the Ultimate Virtual Party Pack on there. And I'll put a link, I'll try to remember to put a link down below as well, but the code to get those for a cheaper price is VIRTUAL99. I think they're normally like $119. 119.99 and you can get it for $99 so it's a really good deal it's like 20 bucks off. I'm gonna go run in and make dinner real quick we are gonna have spaghetti for dinner and I have some garlic knots that we finally found in stock at Walmart they've been one of the things that have been out of stock forever it's weird because that seems to be going in waves so frozen food some like you know like breads and stuff like that that we get a lot like the garlic knots we're out of stock for a while and now I cannot find country crock anywhere and someone said in the comments that it's out where they are too I wish I would have known that because it was in the store fine I would have got two ahead <laughs> I wish we could get some kind of notice on what's gonna be out of stock so here's our check-in on the playhouse progress so Dan's putting this slotted wood into the side and he's going to build all four sides you can see he has them together and then we're going to carry each side out to the back one at a time and then he'll secure everything so this is the little door how cute is this going to be and then like you can see what the siding's going to look like it's actually got like little panels or what would you call these Planks. Planks. There you go. Tongue and groove. Tongue planks. and groove planks. And there's going to be like a window up here. It's going to be really cute. So this is the door height and actually, you know, like both kids, this is like kid height door. But when you go in, the height of the whole thing is like six feet. So adults, like I can stand up in here and obviously this is taller than I am. Yeah, I know. I'm sure. Go ahead and get well, you your joke. <laughs> The Five short side. side <laughs> yeah, I can stand up on airplanes too, fun fact. Um, so anyhow, it's coming along. It's really good. And I'll have Dan do a video. I'll um, do a video with him after it's done and he can talk about how he made this because it's like a custom playhouse, but there are you know some resources that you can look at online to get some help. So it's looking really good. The planks are going to look really, really nice. So tonight, we are going to have spaghetti for dinner. Isabella wrote out, it's really cute. We're going to have spaghetti and garlic nuts. So I'm going to get preheated for this and get ready to have spaghetti with garlic nuts. So these are the garlic nuts. I just have to warm them up in the oven. I'm heating that up right now. I love crunching up spaghetti for some reason. I don't know why that is. I just really enjoy crunching it up. We usually get the thin spaghetti. And these boxes have a ton in them, so we usually only use like half a box or something for one dinner. And then I cut them in, or I split them in half so that they fit in the bowl and are a little bit easier to eat. And then the nice thing about any time we have pasta is we usually have a ton left over, so that way we can use it for lunches and stuff too. This stuff is working on being done and the kids are watching Miraculous again. They're burning through those episodes. This is done and we are using this Prego Garden Chunky Salsa, salsa, marinara sauce. I use other ones sometimes. We've been liking this one lately because it's got the chunks of different veggies in there and we just like the taste of that. 
Um, so we'll mix it up sometimes. Sometimes you do a tomato basil, but we've been liking the chunky vegetable ones lately. So we just gotta get these on the table and I will add a garlic knot in there for everyone. And then we will have dinner real quick. And that is the end of our evening. And all this can be used over for lunches. This will be like probably three lunches left over. Penguin's patiently waiting down here to see if there's anything up there for him. I already fed him in his bowl, but he's just patiently waiting right below the dinner. There's progress. It's very pretty. So he has two walls on the playhouse so far. Did I have a little thing that just popped out of it? Yeah, I moved this, like I moved the whole thing forward, but to do it I had to use like, you know, my hammer. And I heard something pop. <laughs> so, you can kind of see where it's starting to come together. There's a little window over there. There's the window over there. The whole back part. I think is going to be completely, which side has the little mini window? Is it the back or the front? The mini window? The oh. The plane's right there. Okay. So there'll be like a little mini window. And then this is gonna be the door area. Yeah. Front. So this would be like a window over the door. And that'll be trimmed out. Mm. There's another one in the back. We wanted a lot of ventilation because Alabama heat and summer and all that. Mm. And then a big window on that side and a big window on that side. And then one of the things we thought about for the back is making like a chalkboard area where the kids can do different drawings and things like that. Then he's going to have some leftover pieces of wood and plywood so he's going to make some things for them on the interior. Kitchenette. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, they were already talking about that, about how they're gonna be able to use it like a restaurant and have, you know, Natalie was discussing the height of the window so that it was at the right height for them to be able <laughs> to bring people their order through the window. So they can say order up. So there's a lot of possibilities here. I'm very um, excited. I think that they're gonna be able to be creative and use their imaginations. And this is a great thing that they're gonna be able to use all summer long, but especially this summer because of the circumstances and being home more. This is about, great. Put heat in this so they can use it in the winter. <laughs> Penguin's gonna be like, this is the ultimate dog house. <laughs> still like a... You gonna put the dog door in for Penguin? So that is it for the evening. He's making really good progress on the house. It's really cute. I've started looking for some small chairs to put in there and a small wreath like this to put in there and a little welcome mat. It should be really cute. They're gonna have their own little play area outside. So um, that's it for today. We will be back with more day in the life videos from next week. And thanks for watching. Have a great day.